Welcome travel companies, fellow Facebook marketers, and the GSMM Growth Drive team. My name is Benjamin Kepner of Global Social Media Marketing, and today we're going to be talking about how to do rapid fire testing in order to see which messaging gives the most traction for the different types of audiences or product or services that you're offering on Facebook. Rapid fire testing methodology is a way in which you can test different ads to your ideal audience to see who responds best to that offer, right? We don't have to test a lot of money. We can dedicate about 50 to hundred dollars um, to do this test. And we can just set up different ad groups based upon uh, the different types of targeting on Facebook, right? So things like interest-based, look-alike, custom audiences, um, the possibilities are endless. So using Facebook Messenger campaigns is a really quick and cheap way to validate certain personas or offers and see who has the most traction for your lead generation efforts on Facebook. So I've actually outlined the seven steps right here. And so we're gonna kind of jump in. We're gonna be showing an example today of one of our travel clients, Travel Savings Network. If you haven't heard about them, they are a travel service provider that provides exclusive deals on vacation packages of dreams and destinations that you should use to go explore um, your lust for adventureness. So um, for today's example, we're gonna be driving some leads to their uh, landing page. This is an example of their landing page, right? Pretty basic, full name, uh, phone number, email, contact me. We're gonna be driving some people to um, this landing page from Facebook messages in order for them to save on exclusive deals. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do create new campaign and we're actually gonna be doing messages. So we're going to say campaign budget optimization on and we're gonna just do a daily budget of, we'll do um, for $50, right? We'll do about $20 a day. Um, we'll do bid strategy, lowest cost, we'll do continue. First thing we wanna do is give our ad set a name, right? So we're gonna test um, as our first audience the Facebook page uh, likes. We're gonna send them to Messenger, create a new audience, and we're gonna actually use um, everyone that's liked our page, right? So um, people who like your page. And we're just gonna do um, United States and Canada. Since those are the two areas that we're targeting. And then we know that our ideal demographic um, of our campaigns that's running right now is 28 to 65. And we've got English, Spanish, and French. Okay, we're gonna add on the detailed targeting to give it more of a reach. And we're just doing people that like our page. So we're gonna save this audience. Save, okay, let's give that a second to load. All right, next thing we're gonna be doing is we're doing leads, right? And then we're gonna be doing uh, a, an end and start date. We always wanna do that, right? Because we don't want Facebook to burn through all of our money and we don't need to test this for too long. So um, three days should be good. So this all looks good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we're gonna pop in our ad name. So we're gonna do um, a beach picture. We've got a nice little um, beach picture. We've got our Instagram connected, just in case that we're able to get some messages from there. We're gonna use an image. And then from there, we're gonna add media, add image. And I'm just gonna pop in an upload here. And I've got the happy running person on the beach. There they are, we've actually already got it in there. So we'll continue. Okay, so that's in there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and we're gonna give um, different copy, right? So the point of rapid fire, right? We've got our copy that we've created and we've got a nice little template down here um, that you kind of walk through what your service does, the, the problems that it solves, and it got it nice and split out. So I'll definitely link um, in this video for this template. We're gonna scroll all the way down to our different copy points, right? Because what we're trying to do here in the beginning is we're trying to test different audiences or personas. So we're gonna start with our first persona as our Facebook page likes, and then we're gonna go and go look at um, past Facebook leads customers that we generate in the past. So I've actually got some copy developed differently, right? You can see the different copy here. I'm gonna take this first one. Let's go ahead and drop that in. And then 
we've got a headline hook. So we want to make sure, right, that we've got a hook. People um, want to see something that, you know, is going to grab their attention. So let's say 60% off discount uh, travel deals until May, right? We can kind of open that up and see how it's going to look on the different networks, right? So that's what it would look like. It's a nice little bright image, good headline. Okay, so now after that, we're going to do the call to action. We're going to do sign up, right? Because if this was a form, they'd be signing up. And that's what our copy says, right? So it says, please fill in the form below to get your free membership to this historically low prices. So please fill in the form below to get your free membership to travel deals. with historically low prices. Okay, and we'll just um, we'll just do the sign up button too to be more, more clear there. Sign up below. And it's always good to add in a link too when we're doing our lead campaigns, right? So probably a good idea to go in, take this, paste that in, okay. And then so we're going to be, um, you know, generating leads. So collect information. We've got our Facebook pixel on. Make sure that's active. So we need to make sure um, that we've got our, our chat set up, right? So this is where we're actually adding in the messages. So this is the rapid fire part, right? Where we're actually rapid firing a bunch of messages to a potential audience to see if they're going to respond. That's the outcome that we want from this rapid fire testing is we want people to actually reply to our messages um, or at least at the bare minimum, click on them um, or engage with the app. And that will be the recipient. We're gonna do text, um, ask a sequence of questions, right? So we're gonna say what city you do live in. Um, instead of saying that, we're gonna say, um, what place would you like to travel to next? And we might add another question that's asking them for another short answer and just saying, um, you know, do you have uh, a family looking to book a vacation? Okay. And so you can see these questions that are all populating, right? Um, and then maybe we'll just do one more and just say, um, what uh, type of vacation are you looking for? So we've got some nice little quick questions there. Um, it'll just send a an automated reply if they don't reply, format text, um, and then private policy. We need to make sure that we've accepted that um, right, so we've already done that, and then include your privacy policy from your website. So we're gonna, um, we can go ahead and preview that if we want. Right, so we can see those kind of messages flying in if we want to test it. We're gonna save and finish. Finish. Okay, so um, now we've got our Facebook, uh, you know, kind of automated chat. Uh, lead ad going right there, right? We've asked our questions. All this is filled in. Again, make sure to make the pixels working properly. Um, and we should be good here to go, um, right? So that's how we want to set everything up for the first ad group. We're going to do confirm. So let's just give it a second to populate and let's go back. And I like to just kind of title these uh, rapid fire testing. And then I like to say the different audiences, right? So we're testing uh, kind of the book now, travel later. So let's just the save now uh, landing page. And then we're gonna be testing uh, different audiences. So let's just go with the date for now. That's also uh, a good practice to know when you're doing this. And we're gonna do um, like audiences here. So we know that we're testing different audiences. Now we're gonna go ahead and click into this, right? So we've got the ad set. We've got our first audience set up where we're testing the Facebook uh, page fan likes. Let's go ahead and duplicate this. Okay. Let 
Okay, and let's go ahead and give this another name. So we're going to actually try a lookalike here. So we're going to do a lookalike audience. So we're going to leave everything else the same. Um, we're going to come into the audience, right? This is where we're, we're testing the different audiences. So we're going to go um, a previously created, and we're going to go ahead and take the 10%, right? So now we've got a, a different audience. And we're going to exclude people that have liked our page because we're already, we're already targeting people, right, um, that have liked our page. So let's exclude that. Okay. So we're just going to choose the lookalike, right? We've got that on there now. Okay. Say so all this is going to stay the same. Um, and we're using the same um, picture, right? We want to keep those consistent. And so um, now we'll have the same copy as well too, right? So we're really trying to figure out, does this messaging work um, for this different audience? Um, so that we can keep as many variables as, as the same as possible, right? Okay, so we've got that. Let's close that. Let's go back to our ad sets, right? And so now we've got our two right here. So let's just go ahead and duplicate this one more time. And the last one we're going to do here is we're going to do um, a custom audience, um, which is our old customers. We're going to leave everything there. Um, and then we're just going to come in and choose our um, detailed interest, actually. We'll do that instead. So let's come back up here and type in detailed interest. OK, so we've got that. That all looks good. We need to publish. Okay. And now we've got um, three different ad groups, right? So we can test to see which audience is going to be the most relative for the same copy. Um, best practice, right, when we're running Facebook ads, um, for every ad group, we should have three ads. So I'm going to reload this. And now I've got our three ads. So um, which could have been another easy way, right? It's just kind of going through and doing one of these ad groups, but we're going to do um, two copies. Okay, and then we would just want to test uh, different messaging, right? That's why we wrote those different copies. Let's leave the image. So I've already got these done. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of plug these in. Okay, this is all good. Um, but you want to have three different um, copies, right? We are testing three different ad sets. Three different ad, excuse me, three different ads. And then I can just duplicate one more. And go in into our last copy and just pop that in. Okay, so this is what your finished product should look like, right? We've got um, three ads now um, for each ad set, right? So you've got three ad sets, each with three ads. And really what we're testing here is we're testing three different audiences and we're testing three different ads with the same picture but with different copy points. So we can see which messaging works the best for each audience. We could also test the different audiences. So um, that's really what we're um, after here is to figure out who is going to be most responsive and the best audience. And we'll let that run. Normally, we only need to run about, you know, $50 to $100, um, right, before we might actually be able to um, get enough data and see what's going on. And that's a really good way to kind of test your audience. So um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, please do um, subscribe and like to our video if this has been helpful. And we'll be sure to keep this template as well. Um, with the strategy of doing rapid fire uh, messaging testing to test your audiences in your different lead magnets or products and services.